guys. I'm here on a mission. My mission is to find information about glow worms and how they survive. This is a part of a project called Foxy Springs, but of course I cannot do it by myself. So let me introduce you to the world famous expert, Lily Dingle. Hi Caitlin. Hi Lily. Well, as a matter of fact, I will help you with your mission, and I do know a lot about glow worms. Cool. So, come with me and I'll help you guys find some. Okay, let's go. So, Lily, tell me exactly what 60 Springs are. Well, 60 Springs is an environmental project between our school, Devon Intermediate, and Pukiariki. We are looking at the life of Pukakura Park and studying glow worms for people in the future to compare what glow worms are like in their life compared to ours. The difference could be the habitat, I don't know, where they live even, and what they eat, their size, I don't know, even if they're extinct. But I know that won't be happening while I'm around. <laughs> Well, why don't we go look for some now? That's a great idea. Hey, let's go. Lily? Yeah? Is this a good spot for glowworms? Wow, this is perfect. Nice spotting, Caitlin. It's, it's damp, it's still, it's shaded. It's absolutely perfect for glowworms. <gasps> Did you know that glowworms are actually not a worm? <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm being honest. They're actually a larvae of a fly called the fungal fly. But then how do, why do they glow? Well, they just glow to attract food. Ah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, well, how are we meant to see them in daylight? I really wanted to see them and they're not here. Well, I can fix that. How did you do that? I have my ways. I'm no normal glowing expert. Okay. Do you want to go find some glowworms now? Okay. Yep, let's go. The glowworm lights up to attract both a mate and prey. They spin webs to catch insects to eat. The light comes from their tail. Glowworms are the larvae of a small gnat or fly called the fungus fly. They eat midges, moths and mosquitoes. Pukakura Park has many king ferns, which is great because glowworms love to hang off them. It's fantastic seeing these glowworms, but should I be surprised to see so many in our park? Uh, well, the park's been around here for a long, long time, and so there's a variety of habitats in Pukakura Park with its wetlands and it's quite hilly. So, um, no, not surprised. They've been here for a long time and they're still here, so that's really good news. Part of our research was to examine the habitat around here so future generations can compare the numbers found in the park. So what things can harm their habitat? The kind of things that may affect their habitats. Um, I guess environmental change is one thing. There's a lot of concern that we're getting less rain. And I know in the Waitomo Caves, they're actually monitoring... You, have you, you've probably heard of the Waitomo Caves, they've got lots and lots of glowworms. They're a bit concerned that large numbers of tourists actually change the conditions in which the glowworms are living. And so if we have large numbers of tourists maybe going through our hot spot in Pukikura Park, we're not sure if that's going to affect the glowworm numbers. This would have to be one of the largest amounts of glowworms I've seen in a long time. Cool. We so love finding glowworms. In the future, we hope our children's children will be able to see the glowworms in Pukakura Park.